All right, everybody, back to BBG. We're doing an extra special game for you. We're starting this. Um, this is a game we've all enjoyed in our Highly childhood. requested. Highly requested. By us. <laughs> you know, yes. that's how it goes. But we, uh, so we're playing Ocarina of Time. Yes. We've been waiting quite a while to play this game, but we're starting it. Playing it for you guys. The magnum opus of video games. And we are playing the N64 version, not the game right. game, not the Master Quest. The nothing. real version. Yep. No, okay. Not this 3DS crap. Go ahead and get us started with a character selection. Right. Uh, fresh file here. So we're doing, um, we're going to do kind of a, what, what do you call it, a taboo version of this game. Like, we're not, we're not getting, about. well, like, we're not, um. Like, not, not, not a completionist run. No, yeah, no, we're not, we're, we're not getting over Gold School Tell For and, our uh, enjoyment. Obviously, yours. there's not going to be any, uh, 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 what's, what, voice acting. No, no, no. We're going to talk about that. beer and you other stuff that, that we think about. Boobs. And, uh, Super Mature. Because we were in elementary school when we played this game. Boobies. This is very, uh... You very know, appropriate I, 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 title. That's not true. I would not have named the character Boobs until, like, Boob middle 69. school. Boobs69. Well, we were still playing this game in middle yeah. school. I was. I'm, we're still playing this game... Now. ...as adults. Mm-hmm. As 30-year-olds. Yep. All right, let's get on with it. It's Boobs. It's Boobs time. Speaking about, uh, we're talking about beer tonight. We've got, um, Sam Adams. This is a, uh, limited brew. This is the Oktoberfest. Seasonal brew, sorry. Seasonal brew, not limited. Yes, it is. does reoccur annually but uh sam adams has made this one we've had it for what like three years now yeah about three years um Very good. awesome every sam time. adams does no wrong does no wrong oktoberfest is very excellent have you if seen you haven't that? tried it have you seen that up? sam adams commercial where it's like a taste test mm -hmm. and they they bring out the beer and everybody's like oh this is really good and like did you know that was sam adams i've seen that and then there's some guy that's like oh i would have never guessed that yep. sam adams who's that guy yeah who <laughs> doesn't know that sam adams is the shit yeah and they're, and they're all talking about, they're like, mm, I detect a, you know, I detect the hops, I, I got the, you know, the barley, I, I tell this was made in mid-June, you know, they're, yeah. they're all going nuts. I like the guy who, like, tries to cram Dan, and they're like, damn, it's damn, damn good beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> damn yeah. good. Because he's always like, uh, he was all, I thought they only had Boston lager, and they have like 22 <laughs> yeah. different kinds. Yeah, for real. No, like, Sam Adams has a lot of brews. Yeah. It's good stuff, though. Like, if I only had to drink one type of beer for the rest of my life, I... You couldn't, you couldn't go wrong with Sam couldn't Adams. Couldn't go wrong with Sam Adams, that's for sure. I mean, it probably wouldn't be my number one choice, but... Mm -hmm. That's how it goes. If you were on a desert island, and you could only bring one kind of beer with you, what kind of beer would it be? Well... The one that's in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Chad <laughs> Burroughs of Huntington over <laughs> <laughs> yeah, It's a practical answer. It's a realistic <laughs> answer. No, I would say Sam Adams would be, like, up there, like, if I made a list. Yeah. But I don't know. Like I can't get over Killian's sometimes. I like, love Killian's Irish Red. I just is love Irish Reds too. Excellent. I would say Blue Moon would be mine. Blue Moon's Blue Moon. great. Blue Moon is really good, and that you and can just uh, drink it. Like oh yeah, you know you don't get full. You know ish. Like, no, it's not no, it's, strong. it's not a filler. You know, like I, I at first when you said that I was gonna be like Guinness. But then I was like, mm. <laughs> no way, dude. Like, on a desert island? You'd be like, ah! Oh. You'd, be, <laughs> After a while. you'd be waterlogged in like a day, man. <laughs> you're just like, drinking the salt water Whoa. and dying quicker. Whoa. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I think I'm going to go drain a yak bladder or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anything to get the taste of this <laughs> fucking Guinness out of my mouth. going to make a water sack out of his colon. <laughs> yeah. <corn. laughs> like Bear Grylls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, speaking of Bear Grylls, have you seen the one? Where I think it's a llama or some <laughs> weird animal. He gets his like poop and squeezes out yes! squeezes out the, like the on his face. liquid it's in an it. Elephant. I don't know. It was an elephant. Yeah, and wait, yes, a guy does poop. this or the elephant? Bear girls. Bear girls. He, he oh. had the show Man vs. Wild. Oh! Like he squeezes. Oh. It's like, oh, it, it, like well, he's British. It's the most disgusting Like I, I almost did like a crocodile. Uh, Hunter voice, and I'm still going. Crocky, yeah. It's like, oh, this is a juicy one. <laughs> he like squeezes it right in his face. Holy moly! And then there's one where he actually like takes uh, a snake. He skins the snake, and he like ties it off, and then he pees into it, and uses it as like a canteen. Like he drinks his pee as a sexual out device. of the snake skin. <laughs> yes, sorry. It's like a, it's like a big squishy. <laughs> Holy crap, Snake man. piss dildo. You guys are just giving me, like, the, the rundown, man. Like, I hey, have not watched great show. this. You need to YouTube it, man. There's, man. there's some gold. And I Zelda. <laughs> Zelda. 
That's See, right. we, we told you that we weren't gonna. There's not gonna be any voice acting or anything. We're Hell no. Or wait. We're beer and poo, pee and. That's right. Elf and poo. Four glass. I'll be okay. right back. You guys keep Dang talking. It. You guys okay. keep talking. Bye, Jeff. Okay. Do you remember the one where he gets an allergic reaction? He gets stung in the oh, face by a wasp. Him. Yeah. And like it Jeff, swells up. Jeff, edit his face in right there. I will. Oh, it is bad. <laughs> it's great. He looks like he looks like the Michelin Man, dude. <laughs> it's so creepy, dude. All right, so we're finally here. But yeah, that was gameplay it. time. Thanks to Bear Girls for providing us with five minutes of content. Yeah, really. Thanks for getting <laughs> us through that cutscene <laughs> that we've seen five million times. Yahoo! 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 Hey, boobs! Oh. Hey, boobs! <laughs> yeah. Try to do a speed run tactic hey, right boobs. there. All right, guys, come back. Come on, my right. butt. Ah. Here we go. Okay, so, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Tap, toggle. We can switch it next episode to, uh, to, uh, hold so, if you want. Okay, so it's still Z-targeting. Ew! Z-targeting. Wait, what? Yeah, let's see. It's on the, uh, Z button here. Oh, okay, gotcha, okay. So just... Just a heads up. Alright, here we go. So we are off to the Kakarika Sword. Alright, yeah, if you guys never played this game... Not Kakarika, then... it's Kokiri, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I can I can feel the hate he's coming, got, he's coming got, from the he's keyboard. Got half a beer. <laughs> like we may not have that many viewers, but don't you fuck up a Zelda thing, or they will come out of the woodwork. Yeah. Um, actually, it will be the Kokiri Lord. Yeah. I thought it was the wooden. <laughs> the wooden. The Kokiri sword. dagger, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's um, a sword. Bear Gale need equipment subscreen. Um, equipment subscreen. I can yep. equip it with, and put it on the. Uh, it's like a cocktail <laughs> sword. <laughs> cocktail sword. Goddamn cocktail sword. It's the sword, sword for the sword lesser, <laughs> the lesser link. <laughs> Guess I better equip it, huh? Yep. A bad. Oh, yeah, look at him. In your left hand. Dude, a, look how. Stealth look how. Um. Well, uh, we'll we'll look at it next time. Oh, when you do, uh, so look how textured Link is compared to the rest of like the entire. So three dimensional. Friggin, yeah. Like, everything else is just a texture. Like his like, is clean and defined. Link. Pixels. Everything else is. Like, you never. Blah. You don't notice those kind of things when you're a kid. Yeah. You're like, oh, I need to go questing. Oh, I noticed. It. That's why I didn't <laughs> play it all the way through. There's a rupee. A rupes. Hey, five five fold. Oh yeah. Um, all right. Um, so right as I was saying, if you haven't played this game. The objective for this first part, since we haven't talked to anybody and you wouldn't know, is you need to get that sword and you need to get 40 rupees so you can buy a shield. The appropriate Deku shield. Yes. So, so you can always use protection, people. Always use protection. So I'm to say. Well, I mean, it's it's pretty necessary in this game. Yes. I could not imagine playing this game without a shield. It's It's been done. I understand that it's been done. It, it I'm, just I'm just saying, in my in my experience, like, just yeah. be another slasher. Game if we're going for like the average, <laughs> those, like <laughs> Dynasty <laughs> Warriors, It'd which is sellout in mean, high rule yeah. warriors. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, no, totally a thing. <laughs> it is right. Then yeah, yeah. Oh no, it really is. It looks like pretty sweet, actually. actually. That's actually that's coming out real soon. I don't know why I'm up here. If you've watched actual gameplay of it. I've seen, it actually looks really better, addicting. Yeah. People were knocking it, but yeah, it looks fun. I'm totally in favor of it. Oh yeah. He could get the one on top of the house. There is one on the house somewhere. This one. It wasn't this one. Still, yeah, still like yeah this great. one. You gotta do the bridges and all that. Right, right. But I found uh, I found this to be true. And tell me what you guys think. I think um, the the sensitivity of like the joystick in the GameCube version, I think, was a little oh, little bit much. Oh my goodness, it's all over the place. But especially like aiming like with your that slingshot. Part, and that part that you just did. Yeah. Like that part is one of the like most trying things when uh, when you're trying to um, when you're a child. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, like when I when I was like, oh sweet GameCube version, really you know, really and then yeah. um, I wouldn't say anything worth uh, really getting. I think is is it this house you can open a chest and get like five rupees? Yeah, yeah. One, I think it's this one actually. It is that one. Sucka sucka. So five, you can go. Oh, dude, if you exit right now, you can jump across the three things, and get then, five rupees, right. get the five Oopsie in, that, in the shop. And you're so good I was to trying go. to do. Yep. Well, my speedrun text right. is backfiring. So, obviously, spoilers abound. We're just going to talk about what's, you know, the easiest way to do this crap. Um, 
She's gonna talk to me about Z targeting here. Hey, boobs! <laughs> Hi there, boobs! Yeah. I love your name choice. <laughs> it's just, it's so a classic. Provocative I had to think of something on the fly. It's either that or like, yeah. I don't know, dongs or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, that's too dongs? much like that Let's Play reference where it's like dongs.exe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. classic Let's Play. Freaking As Mario Cat or multiple uh, dongs. Mario. Cat Mario. <laughs> multiple dongs with a Z. Yeah. With a Z, man. <laughs> Yep, are to, are to crouch and defend, press R while Z targeting! Alright. Yep. Uh, I see, know. And here we said we weren't doing any voice acting, now I'm like, Z targeting! Like, going off the <laughs> chain. We'll do voice acting as needed. Okay. Oopsie daisy. You're gonna equip it twice. Yeah. Twice Stop twice. acting. Sword, sword. Wait, is that your real voice? No, it's like, that's my real voice. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we are approaching a pivotal point. So that means... Slash. Q, Q the outro. Next time on BBG. Next, Next time on BBG. We'll be playing the Deku Tree. We are. We're going to talk to this guy. I'll fool. talk to this guy. Talk oh, to yeah. Deku Tree, blah, so blah, blah. We'll put yeah. this in the outro because it's not good enough for uh, main footage. Uh oh. You know, Mido my, my can <laughs> step it back. Yeah. Just like he, he gives you like the stiff arm in yeah, the front of this conversation. Freaking keep her up. <laughs> 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 yeah. like, I like when the speedrunners like glitch past these guys. Oh, yeah. And, and like they're like, whoa! And they like spaz out because they're still trying to block you. Yep. That's like the most insane thing I've seen. It's freaking nuts. Here. Go watch Cosmo Wright. Friggin oh, man. We're going to have dude. we're gonna have a lot of discussions about speedruns, so buckle up, people. There's world record. It's going to get it. nerdy. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Let us know what you want to see besides this awesome game. This is all you need. You know. This is all you need. I mean, it's my bread and butter. Right here. <laughs>